Colors can be really deceptive sometimes. So you have your three primary colors, of course, red, blue, and yellow, and then you combine those colors, and you get three more secondary colors, purple, orange, and green, and then you combine two secondaries with their nearest primary, and you start to develop muddier hues. But at first glance, these colors seem to share a similar saturation. Looking at them individually will tell you a different story. The relationships between colors can be easily manipulated by computing hues. The brown rectangle in the left center looks brighter in contrast to the blue background because it's competing with darker values. We could look at a similar situation. This time, the background color shows through the foreground, and the grid on the left shows more blue than it actually is. When you take hue out of the equation, you can see our perception of shade is still affected by another competing color. When you study the rectangle's gray borders, do you notice how they seem to appear lighter when the inside is darker? When you add hue back into the equation, you can see it's much harder to compare the color's individual properties like hue, saturation, and value. You could compare for yourself two samples and decide which one has the darker shade. Color shape shifts, and it deceives us, but understanding its deception is how you can start using color more effectively. If I wanted to see exactly how color is interpreted by my own eyes, I would stare at the dot in the center here. When I change the yellow to white, it shows the simultaneous contrast of all color interactions in the after image. It's easy to understand how colors are made up and their different properties, but knowing how color will be perceived will allow you to create more responsibly. Or, I guess you could also use it not responsibly, but in either case, I suggest looking into Joseph Albers' work on the interaction of color.